What is the meaning of this matter? Get you see. Is that why you wanted to hit me? Do you think death is an easy way to life? What is wrong with you? Eh? You can't even take care of yourself. Look at your skin, you ugly. Should I even call you bitch? Better, better, better watch, watch your step. Get out of my way. Hey, my lady, how are you? All you need is a peeling rose body lotion to get to your desired body. Have it. Use it. Bye. with your movement. Whoa, how come you're ravishly beautiful? That's because I use Appealing Rose Skincare. With Appealing Rose Skincare, I glow differently. Congratulations, Mrs. Tasha Francis. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Please, can you tell us about this, your wonderful achievement? Okay. Well, Appealing Rose Skincare still remains the best. With Appealing Rose Skincare, you will glow differently. I'm talking about the Appealing Rose Body Cream, Body Scrub, Face Wash, and Face Scrub. It will make your skin glow amazingly beautiful and young and i am so proud to be the face of appealing rose skincare congratulations once again miss tasha hey baby honey honey tell me did you watch it yeah i did you did so how was it where did you put your phone? I've been trying to reach you. Oh, that, um... Babe, I'm sorry. When your call came in, I was driving. And I wanted to avoid being stopped by the police who are littered all over the road looking for whom to extort money from. Now you need to cut that crap talk out. Yes, you're a married woman. You're just returning. Well, what's the time? It's past nine. You left the house before 7 a.m. in the morning. You didn't make me breakfast. And now let me guess. I'm not going to get dinner either, right? Honey, come on. It's work. We had a jingle to shoot today, which you watched. It's not my fault. I mean, after signing the contract, I and the crew, we had a little party to celebrate the success. Mm. Impressive. You know, I think it's high time we reevaluated this job of yours. I mean, I provide everything you need. Literally every single thing. You don't get to spend your money, but somehow you're falling short of your own responsibilities. Oh gosh. Babe, can we not do this tonight? Please. Absolutely. Just go fix me dinner and make sure you fix something for now so we won't that much. Do what? <laughs> you're joking, right? Wait, so you expect me to go to the kitchen 
and make dinner by this time of the night? Absolutely, I'll be fast with it because I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm not doing that all. I am not doing anything. What do you mean? Okay, since you know I was going to come back late, why didn't you ask Nonso to, to, to get you something to eat? Or probably you could order in without me. And you're telling me to enter the kitchen and cook. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm tired. I need to rest. Mmm, delicious. Mm, ah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh Babe, God. I want to get water. Do you need water? Oh my God, get me a gallon. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Donald. Yes, yes. Yes, I can. Okay. I promise to be there this morning. <laughs> yes. We'll review the script this morning when I get there. No, no, not a problem at all. Okay. Um, please send the script now. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Donald. <laughs> All right. Who was that? You heard me mention script, and you're asking me who was that. So, your client calls you at this time of the day. Doesn't he know you're a married woman? Excuse you? No, Francis, what do you mean by that? Oh, so because I am married to you, I am no longer free to answer my calls or live my life the way I want? You're a married woman. You go out when you want. You come back late. You just do things without... You know what? There is no need for this. Nah, no, there is no need. I'm, I am not going to do this with you. So not, not tonight. What's your problem? Why are you interrogating me this night? Hello, my beautiful fandom. Guess what, people? I have great news for you this morning. Yes. <gasps> Ta-da! We won! So, guys, I am officially the face of appealing rose beauty products. Body scrub, face cream, face wash and body wash to make your skin glow and young and always remember that your skin is your biggest asset yes and in order to attract a good man you need to take good care of your skin exactly because you know most women who okay my beautiful fandom i need to sign out now don't worry, I'll come back to you. And for those who are yet to get the appealing rose product, what are you waiting for? Why don't you go to the nearest supermarket or a cosmetic shop and get one for yourself? And please always have this at the back of your mind to go out there and glow. That should be your number one priority, right? <laughs> because all women are queens. Don't forget that. I love you guys. I'll come back to you soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you. <laughs> Hi, baby. Good morning. Good morning, my love. My love, I am so sorry. I was so excited to bring the news to the board. That was why I forgot to prepare the for you. Just don't forget to make my dinner. I hope you're not angry with me. But you should understand I really needed to do this. Have fun, love. Have a great day. You too. 
You sent for me, sir? Yeah, the Brook Mountain and Elephant Dew Farm. But you don't sorting them out. Yes, sir. I have finished sorting out the meals and send them to the ND and HR. Mm, okay, great. Do you want me to do anything else for you, sir? Yes, as a matter of fact, I will need you to get me food. I wasn't able to have breakfast because I was running late. <laughs> okay. Um, any place in mind? I was hoping you would help with that. Okay, sir. I will be back shortly. Ah, uh, sir, you didn't tell me what you eat. Um, I mean, it's for breakfast, something light. Use your discretion. All right, sir. I'll be back shortly. So, girls, let's celebrate. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Here we go. Mm -hmm. You know you deserve this, right? In everything you've achieved so far, you deserve them. Because you work so hard for it. Oh, I like, work really hard. Congratulations, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she deserved them. But most times, she allow her emotions to ruin the phone. Ruin my phone? How do you mean, Kate? I don't understand. Tesha, this morning you ended the lie because your husband walked in. Excuse me? Mr. Francis is her husband. Or oh, are you forgetting that? I'm not. I believe you're not limiting yourself in the name of marriage. <laughs> Look, I understand, okay? I'm married, and I know I have responsibility to perform to my husband. But come on, that won't stop me from achieving my dreams of becoming an A1 superstar. Exactly. Yeah, right. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Drink up, enjoy yourself. Today yes. is for enjoyment. Your car at the garage. Yeah. You're even eating. Eh? My man. What sort of question is that? Of course, my please. Bro, you know, since you got married, you haven't been to this office before me. And secondly, you stopped eating out. So why all this? My man, tell me now where you sleep. It's Tasha. She's completely changed. Tasha, as in how? Mm. I'll put it to you simple and straight. Um, she stopped paying attention to her duties at home, let alone to me. All she's concerned about right now is work, work, work. As a matter of fact, I can't remember the last time I had a decent home cooked meal. It, it, it's really that crazy. Wait, I don't understand. You mean you've been eating out all this while? Yeah, uh, well, then I was having junk food, but now uh, I ran out of a tomb and um, I'm craving, you know, something proper. Proper uncooked food. But, uh, have you tried to have had a discussion about it? Oh, yes, I have, many times. But every time I make that happen, she just goes on and on, insisting that all I do is complain. And you know me, I don't like to put things like this on women. Nah, it's not my style. I've got you covered, bro. Don't worry, I'll take you to where they prepare good, a goosey soup and well padded yam. Mm. Now you're away. <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever. Excuse me, please. Um, Marianne? Sir. That's fine. No more arrive me all in the name of marriage. I live my life as I please. Besides, we are the one doing this man a favor by marrying them. No, 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 Kate. I caught you wrong. We are not doing them a favor. Rather, they are the ones doing us a favor. Hmm. Uh -huh. The last time I checked, I've not seen a woman asking a man out. But they won't let us be. Kate, you tend to forget that 80 to 95 percent of this men approach us with a sore intent just to sleep with us and include us in their trophy cabinet. And that's why we have to accord the ones that 
courageously made us their life partner. Well, I agree with both of you. I mean, no man has the right to cage a woman in the name of marriage. But that doesn't mean we should insult them because they are humans with emotions. Well, everyone has their own discernment of our life. I have to start doing it. I need to go to my kids. Girl, yeah. please don't be a pushover. Be a queen of your words. Of course, darling. I already know what I want. Yeah. Okay, girl, sir. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. From the moment you say that do you have to do your best to make it work. Ooh. It comes with so much sacrifices, so much ups and downs, so much thorns and roses. Ooh. But it is a journey of love, a journey of peace, a journey of blissful moment, oh my love, where did all that go? Where did all that go? Oh, oh, where did all that go? Go, go. Where did all that go? Where did all that go? Where did go. all that go? go? Where did all that go? Where did go. all that go? go. Oh, 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 yeah. You promised to stand by me. You promised to stay with me. What has happened to us, baby? Mm. We are not meant to be this way. We can do better. We can make it work. Mm. Build a home. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful world of our own. Ooh, yeah. Where did all that go? Yeah. Where did all that go? Oh, oh, where did all that go? 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 Go. Hey beauties, how you all doing? So guys, please set your alarm for 9 p.m. tonight because something special is going to happen. I am going to teach you the secret of body enhancement. You know your body is the biggest asset, right? Exactly. Because any man who sees your body should salivate. <laughs> yeah, I know that's gross, but sadly that's the truth. And I can back it up with the scripture. It says when God caused Adam to sleep, he took a rib from his body and made woman Eve. And when Adam woke up, he acknowledged the beauty. He wasn't scared, but he was full of admiration of that beauty. Exactly. And that's what any man who sees you should do. He should admire you. He should admire your body, your skin, everything. And that is what I'm going to teach you tonight. So... Keep it locked down, 9 p.m. tonight. I am going to teach you the secret. Yes, guys, 9 p.m. tonight. See you then. Love you guys. Bye. Hi. Hey, baby. Hey, beautiful. Yeah. Hmm. My love, I'm sorry I had to stop you from coming into frame. Hmm? It's all right. Uh, my love, I am sorry I didn't make breakfast. Look, I had to post this. I, I needed to post this this morning. It's, it's very urgent. It's fine. It's okay. I have to hurry to work now. I hope you understand. No, no it's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right, baby. Have a great day at work. Can you imagine? All this while she could have adjusted her schedule, but she refused to. Right. 
Fred says, I'm just thinking, not that I am correct though. Um, what is it? What if you see another man? I mean, I don't understand the kind of job that will keep a married woman out that late. You think she's cheating on me? Uh, just thinking, something you need to look into. <laughs> nah, that's not possible. You see, where I'm from, if a woman cheats on her husband, something terrible will happen to her. So it's not possible. Come on, bro. Forget about that superstition. Those things no longer exist in our today's world. <laughs> Did you just call it a superstition? <laughs> I assure you it's not. I'm not playing. It, it's still in full effect. If she tries it, she will have herself to blame. Yeah. Um, so what's up with the contract from the LPA people? Anita, I am telling you, he refused to eat my food. After I spent so much time and energy making that food, he turned me down and prefers to eat out. Girl, don't you think he's upset with you? Hmm? Well, anyways, he's your husband. So you need to sit and have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with him. What did I do again? What did I do? Listen, Anita, before I said yes to Francis, I told him that I cannot quit my job because I love what I do, and he accepted. So what's with all this drama? Tasha, you're not the only working class lady out there. You need to fix your marriage, balance it, and make it work. Hmm? Think about it. How was your day? Ah, my day was great. I'm seriously depressed. I need to use the toilet. Oh, great. Why didn't you flush the toilet after using it? Hey, don't, don't, don't even give me that look. Don't give me that look. Francis, why are you this dirty? Eh? Ordinary to flush the toilet, you cannot do it. Please go and flush the toilet. And don't waste my time. So obviously, you can tell it's a, it's a mistake, a harmless one. Let's just go ahead and do it for me. Do what for you? No, Francis, do what for you? Do I look like your house help? Oh, so you've seen a house help that can always clean your mess? Eh? This work is beginning to take your sanity. And I am no longer comfortable with it. I am not comfortable with it at all. Please go and clean the toilet. Go and flush it. I want to use it. Okay, good. You'll have to wait because right now I, I cannot move. This work is very important and I have to finish. Maybe you just have to use the visitor's restroom. <laughs> Francis, you lie. You lie. It's either you go and flush the toilet or you will not continue with your work. Choose one. My friend, go and flush the toilet. Ah! Go and flush the toilet. I want to use it. Hey? You're still working. You've been working since I returned from work. Are you not going to come inside? I need you. I need you beside me. No, just give me a moment. Uh, I have to wrap this up. <sighs> Babe, come on. Hmm? This can wait till morning. I have to submit this work first thing in the morning and you know how the company can get. So just give me another hour or so. I'll join you, okay? Okay then, let me quickly shower and I'll wait for you in the room.
sorry? The woman I fell in love with years ago loved me dearly. She cared about me, about my well being. She would never leave me hanging the way you did last night. So I, I really need to know who are you. What is all this? What have become of you? You've, you've changed so much over the years. Francis, what are you talking about? No, what, what were you expecting me to do? I should stay awake till you're done with what you were doing. Obviously, I was tired and I needed to sleep. You know, you are pushing me up against the wall. And the rat that is backed up against the wall, we know the escape route will bite. You know what? I have no time for this. Honey, um, please, I need some money to get food stuff. We are very low on food stuff. Well, I don't have any money on me. And what do you mean by that? What do you mean by you don't have any money on you? Please, I need to go to the market before going to work. You, you, you need to watch your tone, okay? You need to, like, I don't understand. Don't you work? Must the money for food stuff come out from my pocket? Yes, I'm working. But don't expect me to shoulder your responsibility as a man for you. Oh, shut it! Shut that silly mouth of yours and stop being a psychophant. What? You know how to divide responsibilities, but you don't know how to meet up with yours. Don't call me a psychophant. Don't call me that. I live up to mine. Not like you who complains over everything like a baby. Oh, I complain like a baby. Yes. And yet you can't bring out what petty cash to get food stuff for the house. Despite soaking yourself in work. Isn't that a shame? Francis, you're not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. You think How's work going? Fine, sir. Uh, sir? Yes? Please, I want to ask for a favor. Please, can you allow me to skip work the day after tomorrow? Oh, sorry, Maria, you know that's not possible. We have a lot to meet up with. That will be happening. Sir, please, grant me this. This function is very important to me. I have to attend it. That's a no. Sir, okay, I promise to work late with you, please. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you can keep up? Yes, sir, of course, I will. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My plan works. I will be with him all through the night. Is there anything else? No, sir. Thank you, sir. So, um, here, right? So you're going to? Yes, sir. Actually, I want to buy you a drink. I noticed lately you've not been yourself. So I thought to myself to bring you here and buy you a drink. Um, Marianne, uh, that won't be necessary. I'm, I'm fine. You can go right ahead and have fun by yourself. Sir, please, do me this honor. Allow me to buy you a drink, please. OK, it's fine. <laughs> drink won't hurt. Plus, you've been very... Um, great when it comes to your service to my company. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.
afternoon, ma. Yeah. Good afternoon. What are you doing here? I mean, I saw you when I was going to the market, and when I came back, you're still here. Did you come to see someone around here? Oh, sorry, my bad. My name is Tasha. What's your name? My name is Chisum. Chisum? Mm -hmm. What's a beautiful girl like you doing with a child? Um, okay, you know what? Let me come in and at least have water to drink. Okay? Okay. Yeah, this is my house. Oh, so. My bed. No, it's fine. I'll help you. I want you to talk to me. Tell me what really happened. Maybe I could be of help. I was a serving girl for Mrs. Janice and her son, Joe. After serving them for a year and seven months, Joe started making advances to me. When I told his mother about it, she didn't see it as anything. And she's hardly at home. Wait. You're saying that Mrs. Yunis always leaves you alone with her son? Yes. Joe is a good man. He showed me love, care, and attention. We started seeing each other. He made sure that I lacked nothing until I became pregnant. When I told him I was pregnant, he was very happy. But his mother wasn't. She forced me out of the house and sent me back to the village. When I go back to my village, my father refused to accept me into his house. Ever since then, life became hell for me. I stayed with my auntie till I came back to my daughter. I did all manner of menial jobs to raise money and come back and see you because he was not around when his mother sent me back to the village. So, did you see him? By the time I got back, I met Mr. Ayo, the gate man. He told me that Joe has traveled abroad. I, I, I don't know who to run, so I feel like killing myself. I, 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 I don't know who to take care of my baby and I. I'm so tired. Life is not fair to me. It's okay, okay? You're not going to kill yourself. Your, your story is, is really pathetic, but believe me, everything is going to be fine, okay? Okay. It's all right. Hmm? Just relax yourself while I go make something for us to eat. Hmm? My husband will be back home and I don't want him to meet me in the kitchen cooking. And once we're done eating, we'll go visit Mrs. Eunice, if it's okay by you. Yes, ma, it's okay. Um, sure, we can go and see her. Okay, right? So just relax yourself, okay? I'll be right back. What sort of thing is this? What sort of wicked, insensitive, tactless woman is that? Oh, because life is good for her, that's why she's exalting herself as God? I'm sorry, ma. It is my fault that you were insulted by Mrs. Yanis. Please forgive me. Oh, no, no, Chisom, it's not your fault. 
It's the fault of that woman. But I don't blame her. You know what? You will spend the night here. When my husband returns, I will discuss with him. Hopefully he will allow you to stay. Thank you, Ma. It's fine. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, let me get your room ready, okay? Uh, Just wait for me. Okay. It's my wife. She's <laughs> fond of one in two. I understand, sir. Thank you for today. Such a sweet soul. You have an amazing heart. What was going to happen now? <laughs> Welcome, honey. Oh, good evening, sir. You're late. What happened? I don't think I owe you any explanation. Of course you owe me an explanation. Francis, I've been calling and you're not taking my calls. And there you are telling me you owe me no explanation. Oh, really? You've been calling and I'm not taking your calls. Now you see how it feels, yeah? Getting a taste of your own medicine, right? And who is this, if I may ask? But you weren't taking your calls. Go up and change. We'll talk about her during dinner. I'm not hungry. Francis! <laughs> Francis! Oh! just picked up a random woman on the street and brought her into our home? Mm-hmm. She was stranded and needed help. What would you have me do? Besides, you've not answered my question. Why are you not eating my food? You didn't eat breakfast, and now again you're doing it. You don't want to eat dinner. Now why would I eat your food? Tell me, why? When the last three months I've been subjected to eating street food. So why do you think all of a sudden you can just switch and become the cozy good wife? Why? Francis, what are you even saying? I am not doing these things intentionally. It's work and you know it. So why are you judging me now? <laughs> you know... Your work, it, it needs a lot of looking into because it's starting to make you, you know, lag in so many ways. You do nothing in this house. You don't cook, you don't clean. You're just falling short in so many ways. Oh, except of course, in bed, where you're the master. That's all you know how to do. You know, day and night, you can just go for hours. That's all you're good at. You know what, Francis? I'm not having this conversation with you this oh, night. Of course you're not. It comes with so much sacrifices. So much of And if you like, I'm still available so for the night. And roses. Ooh, ooh. But it is a journey of love. A journey of peace. A journey of blissful moments. Good morning, baby. Oh, my love. Where did all that go? Why didn't you answer my greetings? <sighs> Francis, I am talking to you. Why didn't you answer my greetings? I heard your greeting. I just didn't want to respond to it. Uh -huh. And so? Why? 
What are you saying? Mm. Look, it's morning. And oh, you're not working. I mean, it's off day for you too. I mean, you're always working now. Make his money, make yourself useful. Why didn't you cuddle me last night? <laughs> you know how much I love being cuddled, mm. and you didn't deem it fit to cuddle me. Oh. <laughs> cuddle you. You know, there's a certain way you behave, it transcends more than cuddle. That's when you want to, and then you finish me, because remember, that's the only department you are good at now. Not to God. Francis, are you really doing this? By the way, it's morning. Make yourself useful. Go and make breakfast. If you're hungry, go and make breakfast yourself. So, I don't know anything about you, but a huge part of me wants to help you. It's okay, Mom. If you want me to go, I will leave. You have done more for me, and I am most grateful. No. No. I don't want you to go. Just don't make me regret this. It's a promise. You're not going to regret it. Okay, so there's food in the kitchen. When you're hungry, please help yourself. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Be good. Bye. Have a nice day. You too. All right. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Marion. How are you doing today? I'm fine, sir. Um, sir, I'm sorry for coming to work late. I had a hangover after all I drank last night. But I promise it will not happen again. Uh, that's okay. It's understandable. Uh, make sure you go to get me food from the restaurant later. Okay, sir. Sir. I'm sorry, sir. I know it's not in my place to ask, but I've been concerned for a while now. Did your wife travel? I noticed you prefer to eat out than your home. Make sure you get me food when you're done cleaning your space. Is that clear? Okay, sir. Thank you for the money you sent to me. I really appreciate. You're welcome. Easy to get whatever you want. Okay, sir. I will.
Eh? Which, 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 which kind of work I did do so? Eh? This madam said, my madam no they help at all. Other people, if they won't get housekeeper, they go find one single girl, we find, carry and come for get man. Make they help get man. Madam come carry person we get picking. And <laughs> she find who, if you hold those gowns together now, the, the gown will be that bad. You will see her shape. Even Madame self, women, women are jealous. Madame no even won't make organ near them. If I carry this one, keep for, 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 for my room now. If I want to, hmm, in the beginning, yeah, yeah. Organ no go go. Get man no go go. <laughs> oh. Sir, what's going on here? I mean, nothing is going on, sir. Every, everywhere is fine, sir. Welcome, sir. Um, um, Tasha left you here. Yes, sir. Hello. <laughs> baby, be singing for the baby now. <laughs> Ray, Ray, go away. See jealousy. You. Not only the baby, they suck the baby. You give me a half, you give baby half. Me too, I be baby. Hey man, who's that? Oh. Some random girl that Tasha brought home. Wait a minute. You mean your wife brought in a stranger she picked on the roadside into your house and you allowed it? It beats me. Then is I was um, late home. My secretary had offered to buy me a drink, so we went out and I stayed long, but traffic and all, I got home super late. It would have been ridiculous of me to ask her to leave the house. But what I expected was that the following morning, um, Tasha would have, you know, let go of her, but here we are, she's still in the house. You mean you went out with your secretary? Hope is not what I'm thinking. Uh, I wish that they <clears throat> really, that's that's your focus now in this conversation. Dude, you know me too well. I would never have anything to do with my secretary. Bro, you don't need to lie to me. I, I'm your friend. Besides, Marianne is a thing of beauty. Oh, she is. And then maybe you should go after her. Dude, excuse me. Come on, man. Man, stop lying. I... Okay, so um, I'd like to know, did you go into my room, you know, pack the dirty laundry and did them, did you? Yes, sir. I was feeling bored and having nothing to do. I decided to look for you and your wife's dirty clothes and wash. 
Did my wife ask you to do them or did you do them on your own accord? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry that I entered your room without your consent. But I didn't take anything, I swear. I did not take anything. The money and other things I removed from the dirty clothes, I kept them on your bed. I, I didn't take it. This is unbelievable. Imagine. How could you go into someone's bedroom and, and you're talking nonsense? Um, I, Don't you know the word called privacy? I know I shouldn't have done it, but I'm, I'm not used to sitting idle doing nothing throughout the day. That's still not enough excuse for that. Okay. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Just, um... You can go now. I'll send for you when sir, I need you. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir. Bro, are you going to take this lightly with this girl? Huh? What if she was looking for something else and she's using this lorry thing to cover up? Nonso? Hold on, sir. Um, have you left this compound today? Okay, okay, I don't go anywhere. Now here I day morning, afternoon, and night. Now my PAP with this. You're not lying to me, are you? Okay, I know they lie. I know they lie. I know they lie. I don't go anywhere. Okay. Um, that girl, did she leave the compound today? Hey. Okay, that girl. She don't go anywhere. Oh. Now, so her hand just this cash her up and down. She no go anywhere. Eh? What do you mean? Okay? That girl, since morning. Now, so she just define what she go do. She just define what she go do up and down. She go enter your room. Carry all the clothes where they your room. Carry madame own. Wash her. Carry all of them. Come for my, for my room. Come they iron all of them. I say, ah, you be like, say that girl do laundry business before. She even helped me iron my box as too. <laughs> she can't go backyard. Come, cut all the glass, all the glass where they come out, all the cobwebs, chase the spider away. If you see the, the flowers where they back here now, come be like, say they buy them new. In fact, I get the try. I get deserve better massage. <laughs> Approve me. Make a. <laughs> Let me see. My friend, open the gate. Oh, thank you. Massaging approved. So, what I said when I wake, I heard your car drop in and I decided to come and say welcome. It's alright, thank you. You can go to your room. Alright, good night. Um, who asked you to wash the clothes yesterday? My husband? Um, no, ma. Um, I was feeling bored and I needed to do something to show my appreciation. Um, so I went to your room and took the dirty clothes and washed. I'm sorry for invading your privacy. I know I shouldn't have entered your room without you people's approval. But I swear, I didn't take anything. 
except the dirty clothes. I didn't. It's all right. Hmm? It's okay. Just next time, take my permission. Okay, ma. Thank you. And um, Chiso, I brought you in here because I felt you needed help, not to turn you into my house help. Not when you have a baby to take care of. Actually, ma. I like walking. Sitting idle makes me sick. Please, let me do what I love doing. I'm begging you, please. Okay. All right then. I'll be in the kitchen. Okay. I'll be in the kitchen. Okay. I know things has not been right between us. The tension and atmosphere is not something we both want in this marriage. And whose fault is that? I love this is not the time to apportion blames to anyone. Today is Saturday. I mean, why don't we use today and make up for the lost days? Please, my love. You're my wife. I've always wanted us to be good. I promise. I promise to be here for you today. Let's do anything we want to do. Let's have fun together. Just me and you. Okay? Okay. But first, I want us to go have a shower together. Okay. <laughs> that sounds very doable. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Honey, what do you think about you, son? Do you think we should keep her or send her back to our people in the village? What do you think? You brought her in? I think we should keep her. Maybe she could be our house help while we place her on a monthly salary. I can't say I haven't noticed that she's a very hard-working person. Mm -hmm. But do you think this is the best thing to do? Mm -hmm. I think it's the best thing to do, rather than sending her back to the village or to the streets. I mean, she could stay here, and I'll make sure she's properly taken care of. Have you had this conversation with her? Nope. But I'll do that later in the day. I'll talk to her. Where is she now? Probably in LA. This is Tasha Francis. Um, can you give me two hours to do that? Yes, because currently I'm not at the office to access the file. Okay then, I'll do that. Um, in the next one hour. In the next one hour you get it. Babe, <sighs> please, I need to go to the office. Can you drive me there? Are you being serious right now? Today's a weekend. We're supposed to be spending time together. And you're pulling this out of the what? I don't get it. Hey, please. I mean, this is needed urgently at the headquarters. 
And I'm the only one who can access it. Please. Why now? Why can't it wait till Monday? It's not like they're going to make use of a file over the weekend. They surely Listen. Will... Babe, I'm not saying I'm going to work. I just need to send them the document. And then I will come back to you. Please. Let me go now before they start calling. You know I promised to send it in the next one. Ah. Please, babe. <laughs> Can you drive me there, please? No, you have to go on your own. This is a weekend, and I intend to use my time to rest. I really don't know why this document is not even on your personal laptop. Where's your car key? Right there. I'll be back. Sure. Are you saying your husband now spends most of his time outside? Like, do you now come back home before him? Every day. Every day. I know my husband. He doesn't like late night. But now, he comes back home late. And you're worried about it, right? Of course I'm worried. He's my husband. I'm worried. Because I need to, I don't know what he's doing. So I'm worried. Tasha, whatever your husband is doing, you influenced it. Yes, you did. No, how? Listen, Anita. Just listen. Before I started this job, I spoke to my husband about it. And he accepted. I spent four years in the university and two years to get my PhD. So no man can just come in and hinder, hinder me from making use of my certificate. No man is making use to stop using your certificate either. Tasha, you lack balance. I've said it before. You lack balance. You need to, you need to bond with your husband and make a happy home. Ati Tasha! Ati Tasha! He has called me! He has called me! You? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wait, Joe called you? Um, yes. He said that he will be coming back to Nigeria this week, Thursday. Oh my God, I can't wait to see him. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Uh, you know what? Why don't you go in and discuss about this thing? All right. Um, I'm sorry for the way I burden on you. I didn't know you were with someone. It's okay. All right. See you. <laughs> Who is she? Oh, that's Chisong. I found her by the roadside with her child. Yes, she was abandoned by the mother of the guy who got her pregnant. Yes, the mother forcefully sent her son out of the country and threw her out on the streets. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, quite bad. Oh, she's such a happy girl. But who treat her that way? Well, only Mrs. Eunice can do that. Oh. From the moment you say that do, you have to do your best to make it work. It comes with so much sacrifices, so much ups and downs, so much thorns and roses. But it is a journey of love. A journey of peace, a journey of blissful moment, oh my love, where did all that go, where did all that go, oh, oh, where did all that go, go, where did all that go, where did all that go? Where did go, all that go? go? Where did all that go? Where did go, all that go? go? Oh, 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 yeah, oh. 
You promise to stand by me. You promise to stay with me. What has happened to us, baby? Sir, please, whatever you are battling with, do not be too hard on yourself. Are you trying to suggest that I can't take care of myself? No, sir. I'm only saying you should open up to me. If, if there is any problem, you can talk to me. And he's in my office. Sir, is there a problem? I said leave my office this minute. To say this. Since today I have not seen you eating anything. Can you please allow me to make something for you to eat? You know, I've been paying attention to you in this house. And I see that you're a genuine person, so it's fine. <laughs> if that was what you want to do, it's fine. I promise you, you'll like it. Absolutely, I don't doubt. Thank you, sir. Hello, Marion. I've been calling you. Okay, all right. All right, then. Take care. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I have always wanted to tell you this. But the fear of what you say or do didn't allow me to say it. Mm, it's fine. It's absolutely good. Thank you, sir. You did an amazing job. So we might as well just start a business, you know, a food business for you. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was hungry and I pleaded him to allow me to make something for him to eat. And he accepted so he's so trying um <sighs> so this is it. Look at the way you're enjoying another woman's meal when you have totally rejected mine on several occasions. You can go ahead and ignore me, but listen, let what happened here not repeat itself again. Else, I will throw her out to the streets where I picked her from. Asha, what exactly is this madness about? What is the problem? What's going on? Have I not been a good husband to you? Hmm? Have I not shown you love in the best way? Why are you hell-bent on frustrating me to an early grave? What nonsense are you talking about? You know I love you. No, you don't. I... You know nothing about me. Love is kind. Love is commitment. Love is wholesome. It's beautiful. It's comforting. You see all these qualities I mentioned? I have none of them. It comes with so much sacrifices, 
So much ups and downs, so much thorns and roses. Ooh, ooh. But it is a journey of love, a journey of peace, a journey of blissful moments. Who are you, please? Oh, I am Joe. I heard my fiance stays here. Wait, you're Joe? Yes. Joe! Joe. Please come in. You're Thank welcome. You. Come in, come in. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Come in, come in. Thank you. Uh, Jason! What happened to you? Did you stop coming to work? Did you come down with something? Your resignation letter? Yes, sir. Why? Francis, I fed for you from the very first day I set my eyes on you when I came for the interview. Little did I know that you are married. Look, Marian, you. You are a beautiful woman. You're smart, quite elegant too. I'm sure you get the best man out there. I know this is what you say to me. <laughs> of course I know that you cannot actually bring yourself to cheat on your wife, even though she have accused you of doing so. Look, um, Marianne, just leave my wife out of this. Yes, she has her flaws, okay? She's my wife, all right? You know, we just we forget about all this. It's my friend Mike, I can introduce both of them. I don't guys. need him. I'm sorry, sir. But I have to leave. Maria? Uh, Madam, I want to sincerely thank you for all you've done and for taking good care of, of her. I don't know how best to thank you. You don't have to thank me. Hmm? All you have to do is to be a good husband and a father to the child. Of course, I will. That's um, actually the main reason I, I got back. You know, my mother actually thinks she can um, keep me away from the only woman that genuinely loves me. For me, and not for the fact that I'm the son of the business tycoon, yeah, Eunice. No. Okay. So what's your plan now that you're in Nigeria? Okay, um, basically, I, I want to plead with you, if you can, let us stay here for a while, because I'm trying to see how I can fix an apartment for, for us. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to take her to my mother's house because I don't want exactly. any mix-up and all of that. Mm -hmm. I understand. Is it you some here? She's a good girl. Very, very good. So she can stay as long as she wants. And wow. you're free to come and visit her pending when you finish setting up your place. Wow. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity. God bless you, Ma. Amen. Thank you. Bless you. Honey, you're not saying anything. I told you that the young man pleaded Chisum stays here pending when he finished setting up his apartment. I don't know why you don't want to leave me alone. You're a woman that makes decisions by herself without seeing any consultation, so I don't know why you're bugging. Honey, why are you saying that? I've never taken any decision without your go-ahead approval. I've never done that. See that you don't like my presence here, right? What is it now? Mm -hmm. Guys, 
Hi, you look so beautiful. Hi, Ma. Ah, just like you. Thank you so much. Eh? You're welcome. I really appreciate it. You're such a darling. See, see your eyes, <laughs> just like yours. Uh, but let, let me tell you, your mouth looks just like mine. See, lie. Mm -hmm. Why lie? Uh, uh, see my own. Thank you my so mouth. much. You're such a darling. <laughs> thank you. I love it. Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma, baby. Don't worry, Daddy loves you, okay? Wow. Okay? Mm. Mm. Thank you, baby. Mm. I missed her so, so much. The fact that I missed you guys so much. I missed you too. Mm. I you so, so much. Baby. Okay. Oh. 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 I didn't know he was around. And I, I hope he's not going to be angry with us. No, oh. I don't think so. Okay, if he says so. Maybe so. Can you, uh, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Oh. She wants Maybe to she... suck, suck. Oh. Ah. Oh. Baby. Mm. What is it? Taking pills! Now I need to hear it from you. How long have you been doing this? Answer me! Why did you go through my stuff? That's an invasion of privacy. You're very silly. How dare you? You're guilty of something this evil and you're asking me why did I go through your soul? And I will so ask you again, Francis. Yes, why did you go through my stuff? Why did I go through your stuff? You have no goddamn right to do that. That's wrong. Oh, really? Yes. How dare you? Are you, are you, are you silly? How dare you in my house? You talk, you talk, you talk. You're killing all me. Come here. Come here. You answer to this. You're very silly. Come. Can you imagine? She's been taking birth control pills for a while now. Killing our babies. Can you imagine it? In fact, it was this time that she successfully took in. She aborted the child. She aborted my child. To be honest with you, man, I'm dead shocked. What kind of a human being is that? I have absolutely no idea. Look, if not because of the level of control I have in me, I would have killed her myself. No, 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 man. It hasn't gotten to that. Oh, yes, it has gotten to that. Do you know how she's made me feel over the years? How she's made me look over the years? I know how you feel, man. But killing her is not an option. You just need to talk to her and work things out. Hmm. Anita, it has gotten to the extent of Francis beating and manhandling me. Just, just, just look at my neck. Look at what he did to me. So bad. Anita, I can't continue. I cannot continue like this. I want out. Mm -mm. I want a divorce. Mm -mm. Yes. Mm -mm. I am going to see my lawyer tomorrow. Get the papers. I am tired of this toxic and abusive marriage. I can't continue like this. Natasha. It's not me. Natasha, no. Hmm. Do you think divorce is the best thing to do? I don't think so. What am I supposed to do? He nags a lot. Nothing I do is ever right. He doesn't see anything he does as wrong. You see, that's the thing. She doesn't pay attention to me. All she wants, she just wants me to listen to her all the time, do as she pleases all the time, while she goes about chasing clout on social media. But you knew this is the nature of her job before you accepted to marry her. The problem, he gets angry over nothing. He scares me. Sasha, just calm down. Relationship is supposed to be filled with love and tenderness. It's not supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be toxic. Just calm down. Okay? 
Please don't go for a divorce. Please. Please. I'm sure she's somewhere now, you know, telling her friends, crying to them that I've treated her real bad. I can't continue like this. Please. I can't. It. Please, my dear friend. I sincerely want out. Mm -mm. But I love him. Yes, I... I love her. I can't deny it, but... With the way things are at this point, the best thing is for both of us to get a divorce. Don't forget you made the vow on the other for better for us to death do your part. Mm. You see, that's the make... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, that's the mistake we make as humans. Some marriages to have expired dates. What is wrong with you? No, Francis, tell me what is wrong with you? What exactly is wrong with you? I mean, this union was going smoothly until you became abusive. And I'm not going to allow myself to die. You hear me? I will not allow myself to die. I want out. I want a divorce. How ah! dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? Now listen. You. Even if you want to leave, you and your family will refund every single dime I spent on both weddings, the traditional and the white, and everything you have consumed in this house. You get it? Look, you cannot allow me stay here against my will. You cannot allow me stay against my will. I want a divorce, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do, you hear me? Wow, my beautiful princess, you look so beautiful. You know, Joe, my future is planned for me, nothing to expect. And there is nothing to wait and see. For my destiny is mapped out for me. I will raise my baby very well. I will raise her as a mother, as a good mother. You know, our baby is such an angel. Yeah. And you'll love her forever. Two tiny legs that wave in the air. Two tiny hands that tuck her shirt and scratch her faces. <clears throat> my love. The part I love most about babies is juggling. Yeah, with our big innocent eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! Kaima. Oh, hey, Mama. Thank you. Well, when you're done with what you're doing, let me know. It comes with so much sacrifices, so much ups and downs, so much thorns and roses. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But it is a journey of love, a journey of peace, a journey of blissful moment, oh my love, where did all that go? Where did all that go? Oh, oh, where did all that go? Go, go. Where did all that go? Where did all that go? Where did go. all that go? Where did all that go? Where did all that go? Why don't you eat before going to work? 
When last did you make me breakfast? Francis, I know it's been long. And I've realized that I have been wrong all, all, all along. Please, please, I'm sorry. I want you to help me. Let's make this home work together. Please. Unfortunately, we're a little too late. A divorce is what you want, and that's what you're going to get. No, baby, please, I'm so grieved. What are you doing? Francis, please, please don't do this, please. Yes, I know I asked for a divorce. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for saying no to me. Thank you. But now my eyes are open. Now I can behold my errors. Now I know that I was wrong. Please, Francis, I beg you, please help me. I'm sorry. I promise now, I promise henceforth, I will always make you breakfast, okay? What? What is your aim? Why are you doing this? What scheme are you plotting? Nothing. Nothing. I, I'm not plotting anything. I just want to have a good time with my husband. Okay? Guy, I'm telling you. I'm scared. I'm sick. Worried. My attitude. Everything just changed since I refused her to divorce. Scary as in how? All of a sudden, she started paying attention to the things that matters over work. You know, helping in the house, cooking, doing chores. I mean, she even made breakfast this morning and forced me to eat before coming to work. Bro, that's a good thing if she's doing all that. That's just the one to your relationship to work. You just need to work with her, except you're tired of your union. I I made something nice for you. I know you must be very hungry. Tasha, what's going on? What's this? What scheme are you plotting? Just a couple days ago, you asked me for a divorce. What's going on? I was wrong. I was wrong. God, I'm sorry. I know I've not been a good wife to you. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. I'm so sorry. Now I'm ready. I'm ready to have your baby. I want to be your wife. And the mother to your children. I want to hear our baby giggle all the time. Please, my love. I'm sorry. I'm even ready to quit my job if, if that's going to help. Oh, sorry. Please, please, please. Try out today. She has only one thought. And that is how to make you do work. She told me how you met her and the happy moments she shared with you. Please, I'm begging you. Forgive her. Give her another chance. Please, Please baby. I'm sorry you're a little too late. Uh, uh, Francis.
to round out the song. The song was what brought us together. Right on history. I can't move this thing. It's just an amazing feeling. I, I fall in love again. And all of a sudden, I don't, I don't want the separation to go on. It's just, it's amazing. Wow, I like that. That's good news. That's just to show you love and care. More than ever before. I mean, everything just feels so, so out of this world. Yeah, man. I think the idea of both of us going our separate ways just made us realize what we're going to lose. I mean, she's the exact woman I married. The exact woman I thought she was, and I'm happy. I like that. Both of you deserve peace. So I was thinking, instead of us staying back home to have dinner, how about we go out and make it fun? That would be great. Right. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're going out, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, you guys need to start getting ready and don't take too long. Of course. Right. So Jason, please go and get ready. And don't take, take ready. too long. Okay, sir. So We're going out. Wow. Ooh. From the moment you say that you You have to do your best to make it work Ooh. It comes with so much sacrifices So much ups and downs So much thorns and roses 